Alright, what's up guys? Hopefully you can hear me. I got the gear going. It's pretty cold in here. But, uh, we're gonna work on the Ranger today. Uh, a few updates to the last time I filmed. Uh, Data 30. Not using that anymore. Uh, yeah, I picked it up. I thought it was a good deal. I definitely overpaid for it. And uh, I bought a, a Dana 44, which has got bigger knuckles on it. I'm not sure what they're from. I think he said they're from a Dana 60, but I'm really not sure, honestly. It's got bigger hubs. It's got the bigger uh, worn locking hubs. And it's from an older Ford, so it's uh, eight by six and a half lug pattern. So no problem finding uh, wheels and tires for this truck right now. So trying to find huge tires for little rims that are five by four and a half on the stock hub and axle over the Dana 30. So yeah, Dana 44 would be a lot stronger than the Dana 30. I mean, just the length without the hubs or anything on it is, it's massive compared to this. And it's gonna be massive in this truck. Um, few things I did. So I started cutting stuff off the frame from last time. I think last time I filmed, I was just pulling the old front end out. Uh, so all the control arm tabs and everything that are on the frame, I have to cut completely off. They're useless to me now. So I started doing that on this side. I'm gonna leave the shock towers for now. I don't know if I'll be able to reuse them, but I'm just gonna leave them and figure that out when I get that far because shocks are almost one of the last things I'll need to do. Um, yeah, I'd rather just not cut them out now and then regret it later if I could have used them. So this side is, I started on this side, I cut one bracket off here, I had to cut this one off, this one, and this one. I'm leaving this main one in here so that when I order my, uh, I already ordered it, but the, the leaf spring hanger that's gonna go up front for the shackles, it's gonna be welded in between my frame rails here and then it's gonna have the shackle mounts here on either end for the leaf springs. Um, that's going to help support the frame, so I don't want to cut that out yet and have take a chance of my frame moving for some reason and just being all out of whack. So I'm just going to leave that, go and weld it in, set, and then I'll cut that all out. Uh, I was going to run the Dana 30 and the, the stock rear axle, but I'm no longer doing that. Now that i got the Dana 44 for up front, I'm going to try and run a Dana 60 in the rear. So the rear axle is going to come out. I tried, <laughs> I messed around for a while, I went to the junkyard, bought some F-150 rear leaf springs out of the FX4, thought that would give me enough lift, just added them to the Ranger leaves. I've got eight leaves in here, which looks ridiculous and you'd probably ride absolutely horrible, and it honestly lifted the truck maybe an inch, it did pretty much nothing. So. Uh, Rear end's gonna be a lot more work than I thought it was gonna be. I still don't want to run blocks, but I'm thinking I'm gonna have to still with uh, longer shackles, even longer shackles and blocks. Uh, the Dana 44 I got for a steal. I found it on the marketplace for 50 bucks. It was a two and a half hour drive to go get it, but totally worth it. 50 bucks. He said one of the gears has a chip in it, but I mean, that doesn't matter to me. It's got 355 gears, I think he said was in it, but so that's way, way too low for me. I gotta, or way too high, I gotta get those down. I'm thinking 513 or 456 gears, I haven't decided yet. I'm gonna have to do a, a lot more research on that. So it's gotta get re-geared anyways, I mean, for 50 bucks, totally worth it. Way, way under what I paid for the day on 30. And then uh, I ordered leaf springs for the front. Just try and get, you know, see where's what the right height's gonna be at. And they came. And they're absolutely tiny. I ordered the wrong leaf springs. Uh, 
I used Google, search the leaf rings because I know what leaf rings I need. There are Rancho 44044s, this is the, the Rancho number for them. I clicked on them on Google and then it took me to the website that I was ordering off of and they switched part numbers completely and I ordered the wrong leaf rings. I should have been a little bit more careful. So I'm kind of stuck with those because return shipping was over $100 to ship them back. So I guess for today I'm going to cut some more brackets off the frame and get the rear axle out and the rear leaves out completely. Uh, it'd be nice to be able to take the bed off the truck, but I've got all the parts in the bed and I have no place to put the bed right now. It's still winter and I don't really want the bed sitting outside where it can just rust away and rot some more. Uh, especially with spring coming, it's, it would have to sit on the ground, so I'm not going to do that. Um, if you guys follow along on my channel at all, you guys saw that I did some garage build stuff. Uh, I don't think I filmed any of this, actually. The ceilings I raised, and I put the LEDs in because I had no lights in here. And the ceiling was like just above my head. So now they're 8 foot ceilings. And then I got some LED lights from Lowe's that I hardwired in on the switch, which makes it really nice. So yeah, garage is coming together, truck's coming apart still, but soon to be going together. I don't think I showed you guys this either. I picked up a welder. You know, I said that in the video that I was gonna pick one of those up soon. I got the Vulcan Mig Max 215, obviously, from uh, Arbor Freight. The welder from Arbor Freight, it is, I love it. It's totally worth it. Uh, it's not like their old welders used to be. All right, so I'm under here, I'm gonna start cutting. Uh, I'm using a Sawzall with just a metal blade on it. Uh, angle grinder is definitely a lot faster, I think, but you really can't get it in here at all. I mean, you can get the blade partly in there and when you get like two inches out of the four inch blade so you, I mean you kind of have to use a sawzall so yeah that's what I'm doing I'm just taking these off as close as I can to the frame then I'll go back with the angle grinder and try and smooth it out a little bit uh, the frame's gonna get sanded down and painted anyways and then I'm gonna Maybe I'll fill some of these in, weld these in, weld the plate over here or something. I already got a box of frame on this side for the steering box, so I don't pull that through the frame or twist my frame or anything like that. So yeah, I'm just going to cut these out. axles out that's pretty simple self-explanatory there disconnect brake lines sway bar I actually had to cut my sway bar out the end links bolts were completely shot original of the truck so I had to cut those out that sucked but rear ends out frames all all the brackets are cut off the frame still gotta clean it up release that's out of the way uh, I gotta end the vlog here I gotta go help my dad with some stuff over to his house um but yeah i guess just a little update it's crazy i got three axles in here now and i still need another one but I'm trying to sell the rear one now and then that dana 30 i bought because i don't need it anymore um yeah like i said i ordered parts so that'll be the next vlog that should be here this week i'll show you guys that when i get that we'll be welding stuff up front and finishing cleaning that up so uh thanks for watching Continue to follow along with the build, subscribe, uh, if you like it, hit like. I know that wasn't very informational today, but we're getting there, little things at a time. It's usually when I work on it, it's Sunday, and I got other errands and stuff to do, so not much is getting done right now, but I'm also kind of waiting on a lot of parts, so. Alright guys, thanks for watching, see ya.